Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Finding Peyote. Um, um, today I'm going to do a reading for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, please like and subscribe to, or like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, please. I have to try and make this short because I have a work meeting, like, really soon. Okay. Okay, let's get started. This reading is for Scorpio. Do a star spread and uh, okay. A star spread and it'll just look at what's currently going on. Okay, let's get started. Your signifier card is the Ten of Pentacles. Awesome. First position is okay. Two cards came out is you. The Queen of Cups. Oh, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. You're feeling emotional and you're feeling um, left out in the cold. Let me see what your guys' last reading was called. Scorpio. You found out they're back though uh oh okay so don't remember what happened then this reading was a long time ago second position is what you want is the queen of wands okay hidden factors is the third position okay and that's the hermit and hopes and fears ten of cups so you have the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups and you're reading the outcome Standing up for yourself, working together, oh, in the world, an ending, the world, standing up for yourself, in the three of pentacles, working together, the bottom of the deck is the page of pentacles, so that's, you know, reassessing some situation, clarify now, the queen of cups, Queen of Cups is clarified with the hangman, so something that, you know, being emotional about or um, feeling cast out to see, being like forced out, um, crying a river of tears, an ocean of tears, feeling left out, but the hangman is talking about needing to see the situation differently. Um, which is interesting because we're like in this Ten of Pentacles. So, um, let's see what this is about. The Queen of Wands, okay. So, I mean, this, we'll have to pull something for the Queen of Wands as it's coming out twice this maybe could be like an, another the the other woman you know kind of card it's getting them that vibe of needing to see things differently and just being sad and feel left out in the cold even though what we have in the middle is a ton of pentacles something is shaking the foundation you know changing the way that you're seeing things because maybe maybe they got in the way let's look at this kind of one Queen of Wands is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. So what you want it is what you want it is to be in a solid situation. Yeah, what you want is to to be this high priestess to you know feel like you're um, kind of manifesting and 
and that these things are going to fall into place. The Hermit is clarified with the star. So that's interesting because the hidden factors is the Hermit. What I'm thinking, you could be dealing with a Virgo, but this, this person seems like a person. This person um, thinks that you're the star, you know? because that's that's what's in the lantern too and then the star card comes out your hopes and fears is the ten of cups and the five of cups and that's kind of similar to how Aquarius is reading just went right now is talking about you know feeling like you're worried that you're missing out or what what if you don't find your ten of cups and this is kind of similar maybe you guys are maybe you guys are dealing with an aquarius and aquarius is dealing with a scorpio because theirs was the other way around they are in the ten of cups right now but like ten of no i was saying that that they what they want is the ten of pentacles and this is what you have right now but something something has happened to shake up everything and make things not stable whether if it's another woman you know or something because the queen of cups is here and so that could be scorpio right so there's there's somebody else here and that's worried of 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 some type of third party and not not getting what they want then the world in the outcome is clarified with the nine of swords that's really staying up all night and worrying about this ending you know um justice and worrying about getting justice over you know and karmic justice over what's happened so, even though other things are going great seven of wands is clarified with the four of wands you're standing up for yourself you're standing up for your ten of pentacles which is what Aquarius wanted, you know, they want that ten of pentacles. Um, standing up to against, you know, issues and negative things that are in your life right now. Um, standing up for that and pur wanting to purge these things out of your life. The hangman, you know, wanting, wanting, you know, seeing things differently and wanting things to end differently. The three of pentacles is clarified with the hermit. So, yeah that's you know wanting to work on stuff but that's internally what do you figure things out for yourself and the death cards now you have the world and you have the death card so that's ending some type of perhaps karmic cycle um perhaps ending some cycle with um the other woman wanting wanting that cycle to end because it's it's making it not a good um, foundation in what's supposed to be your Ten of Pentacles right now. And the Two of, of Wands is at the bottom being at that crossroad. So let's see. Finding out about, you know, our third party thing super sucks, Queen of Wands. Distance horizons. That's how was that? A, I think there was something negative about it, but I don't really remember. Um, could be foreign people. Hmm. Maybe it's not about another one. Maybe that's you, not you're another woman or whatever. You're another third party or whatever you're saying is that, you know, this also suggests opening your mind, developing new views and becoming more spiritual or philosophical. And that's interesting because that's kind of like a queen of wands energy. She's a person who has control of the situation because they're in control of everything, control of their emotions, control of whatever. So, you know, that's that could be maybe talking about you know, needing to change your mind about about these things, about an emotional situation that's going on. Dreams and fantasies. Yeah, maybe too that's wanting to make manifest a situation where you are in a Queen of Wands energy of manifesting things about being in control of the situation, being in control of the relationship. You're the shot caller of this relationship. Let's see what this. Um, let's see. 
Well, I think Aquarius had the devil too in in their reading. So some similar cards. You definitely could be dealing with um, in Aquarius. Oh, and the star is here too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a <laughs> maybe titled this not even like a Scorpio reading, but instead of it's Aquarius dealing with Scorpio, this could be Scorpio dealing with Aquarius. Yeah, having everything and wanting everything, wanting your Aquarius. You're wanting this Ten of Cups. Message of concern and your hopes and fears. You're worried that somebody's going to reject you. This Aquarius is going to reject you. Mature man. Maybe you're worried that Aquarius is a, a wise, a wise person and, and respectable authority or an experienced person. Bosses, supportive. Mm. Oh, and so that y you could be worried that your person is going to leave you for somebody else. That's what your worry is. That's so cute. I mean, it's not, I mean, not cute, but I mean, that, I'm sorry you feel that way, but that's really sweet. Like you're, you're worried that your person is going to leave you. Well, what's wrong, you know? Needing to see things differently. You know, that's important. You know, thinking about Aquarius or whatever, that's important. And, and ending something, the world card with the Nine of Swords and the Justice, you know, stressing out about an ending. But, you know, things need to be fair. Perhaps you don't feel like things are necessarily fair between the two of you and, and you wanting to do that and, and kind of stressing out and worrying about how you can make that happen. The hangman, how, you can, how you're seeing things differently. And then Seven of Swords the four of wands and the devil is standing up for yourself because you want to build a nice foundation for like maybe you see that you could marry this person but you want to work on the situation to um make sure that it's going to be solid seven of pentacles make sure that you're going to uh be planting seeds you know for an awesome future and um you know the death card and the hermit and the three of pentacles like i said that that to me talks about inner work too standing up for yourself and then also doing the inner work too okay that just came out we'll look at them community and occupation oh i gotta go soon crap okay um oh there's spreads for this cool maybe we'll try this they have like their own spread anyway i don't think care um, 39, community. Mmm. Aw, seven of swords. I mean, the seven of wands. The four of wands and the devil and the three of pentacles and the hermit and the death card with community card. More out, because I have it underlined too, because this is the most important part. More abstractly, it's about support, being understood, and finding the place where you belong. Yeah. That's like wanting to be in your power, wanting to be with this person, but also at the same time standing up for yourself because you want to build a solid foundation that's very sweet that's like very mature you should tell this person this though i think an aquarius would love to hear i'm an aquarius i think i would love to hear that somebody to stand up for themselves and like tell me this is what i really want this is what i have to offer too and this is what i think about you i think you're the star i'm worried that you're gonna leave me Please don't do that. I'm just kidding. And and now you want to work together. Occupation, sorry. Oh, mm-hmm. Doing skilled work. Mm-hmm. Represents maybe self-employment. You have the hobbies. Literally just about work. That's all the thing. It doesn't say anything about relationships. In the context of a relationship, it may indicate the questioner is working on the relationship to overcome difficulty. Oh shit, that was loud, I'm sorry. But that's exactly what I'm saying, wanting to work on this stuff and you should totally tell them that you want to work on it, okay? 
I don't have time, but I'm gonna do this real fast. I really hope it doesn't come out. I hope it doesn't call it like rated for. How does this person feel about you? They are worried and they are resting. They're taking time out. Five, they feel like there's competition. The five of wands, there's arguing. They don't really know what to do. How does this person, holy cow. Ace of Cups, but it's you're a new love opportunity, or they want to give you a love opportunity and see you as an Ace of Cups. They see you as it's awesome. But things are out of balance right now. How? Okay, I do this fast. Sorry. How does Scorpio feel about this person? Okay, hot mess. Ace of Pentacles, I mean, Ace of Swords, a new opportunity. Whoa, Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity. Having a revelation, having, wanting a new opportunity. Two of Cups, you feel like they're, they are your soulmate. The Page of Swords, you feel like they're kind of awesome and they have great ideas. Page of Wands, yeah, you think they're like somebody awesome to hang out with, like super fun. And the Eight of Cups, yeah, you feel like they have, are, are moving away from you. And the strength. You feel like, you know, you need strength or they are a strong person in the situation. Okay, advice for Scorpio. Advice. I'll talk about it. The Hermit. Yeah. Take time to think about it. Don't rush things. Uh, work hard on the situation just like you're doing. Page of Pentacles. Confirmation. You're looking at things differently. The star. Wait star card was gonna pop out and then it didn't but you have the chariot so that's you know wanting that new beginning that's working towards that new beginning the devil yeah work on your issues don't hold things in advice six of wands yeah think about the things that you do want how you can make this a victory i think seven of wands is how you can make this a victory and then nine of wands you want to keep fighting keep fighting for this connection and page of cups yeah like a nice like a love offer maybe start with something small in order to get in, ease into this conversation the moon yeah working on your shadow side the page of wands yeah maybe communicating maybe even texting them and the wheel of fortune is to, to kind of trust that this is all going to work out um for your greater good in the end okay that was your reading i have one minute to spare i have to do work stuff now i will be back later i hope um, this resonated please um like this video and subscribe to my channel okay bye